Hey guys, it's Jeremiah Dragon. I am having a beautiful day on a snowy day, even though it's not sunny. I uh, hope you guys are warm and snug in your rooms. Sadly to say, workout days are always my day. I don't feel like sitting around and thinking, okay, maybe I should just go to sleep or stuff like that. I'm not the type of go to sleep. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do some workouts and stuff like that. Those of you who have questions and stuff like that, how I keep myself fit and trim. Those of you who need questions or who need advice and stuff like that, I go ahead and just um, put it in the comments below. But I'm going to go ahead and do my pull-ups. Okay. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. I'll go ahead and change clothes. Uh, okay, now we're ready to go. And set one of my, um, my pull up bars. So I'm going to go ahead and get that real quick. Got it. Now, go ahead and put this Got it. Now, let's go ahead and do some pull-ups and do transitions though. I mean, I work on both this way, that way, and this way. First go this way, that way, and this way, and then I just do a um, meditation pose. Well, go, go ahead and do all that right now, so just tell you that. <laughs> you guys gotta make sure you stretch yourself first before you start attempting any type of physical endurance, whether it be sports, whether it be tech -less. Athleticness or whatever, whatever it is, make sure you shake yourself up on my shoulders. Don't tense up. Two more threes. Three's coming. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to point you guys up for so long. One thing is for sure, you know you guys want to do some pills during uh, one of your snowy days, it's been time with family and stuff like that, so I'm not going to point you guys up to so long. So, uh, let me go ahead and do my meditation pose, and then I go ahead and go to my floor workout, well, stretches, so I keep my leg. Uh, thank you, thank you for now. <laughs> I keep my legs um, flexible, kickable, you know, be able to kick high. Be sure to do good stretches. Stretches are important when you are working out. I get tired of seeing people going straight to the workouts, going straight to the weightlifting, and they fail to see that they need to go and do stretches. There's a reason why they need to do stretches before you go do anything else. Whether it's punching bag, lifting weights, whether you just Running. If they want to pull a hammer, you gotta stretch. Stretching is important. That's what this video is about, stretching. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the oh, thoughts here. <laughs> go ahead and do the meditation pose. And we can go ahead and go on to the stretching. Meditation position for a good portion of the time. You feel that energy, you feel that strain, that strain. Pretty much, it works out your core muscle down here. Like you feel like, like somebody like squeezing your stomach, like squeezing it tightly so you can actually feel your abs contracting. It's a nice other way to actually contract yourself up. I wouldn't recommend you do it too long. Because you do it too long, you might end up hurting yourself, straining yourself. Another thing about workouts, it's good for you for a good portion of the time, but you do it too much, it's not going to do anything good for your body. We're, eight, we're like 70, maybe 80% water, so it's not going to help you if you're not getting enough water in your system. Speaking of which, I am extremely thirsty. I'm going to go ahead and get myself some water. Yep. When you are 
tired, water, there are no substitutes. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Gotta go to floor workout, or floor training, floor stretching. You know, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do stretches, how I do my stretches. You guys can do it, tell me how you did it. Tell me what do you feel when you, what like what part of your body do you feel is getting most of the stretch and what most of the workout. Because when you start doing those stuff like that, it helps with your hip, and help your opening, and it helps with your kicks. It really does, especially those of you who are going into the martial art world. You guys need to know, you need to open up your kicks, whether it be boxing, kickboxing, taekwondo, jiu-jitsu, karate. Either way, you guys gotta understand this. This stuff is not a joke. Everything they're gonna tell you to do, learn to move with your hips. If you're if you're already like a natural martial artist, then you already know the hip work and the stuff. You know, going in with the hips. But if you're not, use your hips. Hips are very important in this stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and go straight to the floor. Whew. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, glad we're on the floor now. Now, these are some stretches I do, I like to keep myself limber and you know kind of flexible in my legs because as a martial artist myself and a person who's going to MMA fighting thank you I gotta have to understand and have to keep myself physically agile I cannot just train my upper body strength and expect good results coming in from a fight especially a person who is ground based fighting so <clears throat> what I have to do for my own way I just I just stretch my legs so basically I hope these stretches will be great for you guys to use too let me know again let me know if you guys know any other stretches I might do that might help me out I will actually show a video and I give you a shout out on YouTube and something like that I said thanks to so and so it's up to you guys if you want to help me out and also don't forget to subscribe too I mean I really do want to become a YouTuber and look me up on Instagram too Jeremiah underscore dragon no capital letters, just Jeremiah underscore dragon. Anyway, let's go ahead and go straight to the workouts. Hus. By the way, be sure to keep doing this too. Breathe. I can see you guys right now. You might be trying to do this. Most of you who are fitness to the bone in nature, for some reason people have this problem, not breathing. When you are doing these workouts, it's best for you not to hold in your breath. Like, <gasps> whoa, you're not going in the water. You guys gotta breathe. This is this stuff right here, like breathing. <sighs> breathing, you gotta. You gotta breathe it all out. You gotta make sure you understand that your body will not function if your body is holding itself. You gotta focus on one part of your body, but you can't do it if your body is focusing on holding its breath. I know these, well, these workouts may seem a bit impossible to you guys, but trust me, take time. Remember, results from life does not come overnight. So, you guys gotta give it time. I mean, I, I did a splits. I mean, I was like very young when I first did the splits, but you gotta, gotta, you gotta keep going. You guys can't just go like, oh, this is not working. Got to do something else. Well, first of all, martial arts is a, well, it's not. It's pretty much like a life lesson to teach you. Discipline helps you. Patience is also there. Dexterity and determination helps you def define who you are inside. I'm not saying martial arts is for everybody, but for those I realize I am talking too much. So instead of me going on and telling you guys how to live your life, which I'm not. Please don't leave a hate comment about, Jeremy, this is my life. Please stop telling me what to do. Okay, so uh, <laughs> let's just go ahead and go back to the workouts. Now, the other workout I do is this. I do like this. Now, I know you guys might have seen these workouts from somebody else. Um, maybe Donovan, Gary. You guys see him doing that stuff. This dude knows his stuff. Other than the fact that he's a Don. He is like a third or fourth week Don, black belt in Taekwondo. 
that dude knows his stuff. And I am glad that I watched this video to understand how I just open myself up. Also, if you want to really want to get a workout, both your legs, hamstrings, put your hands together, elbows, push your legs back and start doing this. And if not, for us dudes, this is going to be difficult. But ladies, you're used to this. Uh, this right here. Start moving around, you start feeling a little bit of your hips opening up. This right here helps a lot. And also it hurts. Oh! So another workout too. But I'm, what I'm going to do is going to put it, um, I, can't, I don't have enough room in here to do it. But what I can do is actually put the video like beside me. Like, so. And you see me right there? You see me doing the... Uh, my size and stuff like that, that might be going to something else. This came from a previous video I did that was on Instagram. Might be able to find it too if you know it well enough. But other than that, that right there, that that's pretty much how like uh, you can get to transition yourself and how to make it seem like you're uh, um, you moving your momentum and stuff like that. And it works out well with his legs control and hip control as well. So don't try to like go like yeah. Guys, you should know that that stuff is gonna hurt. So, yeah. So, I'm not sure what else I can show you guys. If you guys want any more tips, go ahead and feel free to put it in the comments down below. Um, if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and just put it down below as well, too. I also will love to look it up, give the names out, too, so many people will watch the next live. So, that'll be it for today. Hope you guys have a nice, well, sunny, Snowy day. <laughs> so, peace. Here my dragon out.